In this video, you will learn how to chip your golf ball out of a sand trap, the bunker. To practice this exercise, you will need a sand wedge and several balls. Use a practice bunker so as to not disturb other players. To better understand this exercise, take a look at our video, Know the Layout of a Golf Course, as well as all the videos relating to the golf swing. There are three key points to take into account when chipping the ball out of the bunker. Visualizing the shot, your stance, and the impact of the club with the sand. Firstly, visualizing the shot. It is important to visualize your forthcoming shot. If you cannot directly see the hole due to your position, use the flag to help you. The flag is placed in the hole. Secondly, the placement of your feet. If you are right-handed, as in this example, align your ball with the inner side of your left foot. This positioning will allow you to cut through the sand rather than planting the club in it. Thirdly, chipping the ball by striking the sand. Chipping a ball out of a bunker is a specific technique. The important thing is to strike the sand under the ball. The ball should, in theory, be lifted by the mass of sand displaced by the club. To help you succeed in your lob, or high arc shot, think about hitting the sand out of the bunker rather than hitting the ball. The more you try to hit the ball long, the less you will succeed in lifting it. You will end up hitting the ball higher and displacing less sand. Please note, in the rules of golf, your club should not, under any circumstances, touch the sand as you take up your stance and during your practice shots. Doing so may result in a penalty. Repeat this action regularly so that you feel comfortable with it. Don't forget to rake the bunker ready for the next player. Now the bunker no longer poses a threat. Over to you.